Students, let's take question number 22. Which of the following is the correct arrangement of the substances in the increasing order of their densities? If I talk about density, that is mass per unit volume. And if you look at the substances present around us, they have certain density that depends on their mass as well as that depend on the space occupied by them. If I talk about the given option, we need to just compare their densities. If I talk about wooden table, that is solid. And if I talk about lemon water, it is liquid. Density of solids are generally more as compared to liquid. So definitely this option is incorrect because in this option it's given that wooden table has less density as compared to lemon water. Wrong option it is. So without thinking much, I'll just mark a cross over here. Further, polluted air, air that consists of different poisonous gases. It has less density as compared to honey. Correct. No issues. Further. Honey and lemon water we have, lemon water, water we have in which lemon you have added. But if I talk about the density of honey, that is always more as compared to lemon water. On the basis of this, I can also mark a cross here. This is not the correct answer. Further, lemon water, it means water consisting of lemon. Further, here polluted air. If we compare the densities of these two, definitely lemon water has more density because it is liquid while polluted air is the gaseous state of matter in which different gases are present there. But density of polluted air cannot be more than the density of lemon water. That's why I am just marking a cross over here. After that, the last option, polluted air has the less density as compared to lemon water. Correct. Lemon water has less density as compared to honey. This is also correct. Honey is more thick. It has more density. Further. Honey has less density as compared to wooden table. It is correct. And that's why this is my correct answer. So I'll just write here the correct answer. That is option 4. I hope it is clear. Now, the turn is for question number 23. The total number of states of matter present in a dry sponge. And you have to assume that sponge is normally placed on a table. It means you have sponge that's placed on a table and you need to just identify the total number of the states of matter present in it. Sponge is solid and air is present inside the tiny holes of sponge. It means there are two states of matter. One is air, other is solid. Air is gaseous state and solid. So two states are present. On the basis of this, I choose here option three where two is given. Now, turn for the next question. Question number 24. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide are taken in two gas jars. There are two gases. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Now, these are taken in this figure. Similar kind of apparatus is there. This is gas jar 1 and this is gas jar 2. We have marked them A and B. In gas jar A, hydrogen is there. In gas jar B, carbon dioxide are there. Now, what is done here? If the lid separating the two gas jars is removed, where is the lid? This is lid. And if you just remove it, what will happen? These two gases intermix. Hydrogen get mixed with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide gets mixed with hydrogen. So, after that, the constituents of the gas present in the lower portion of the jar both of the gases can be there and on the basis of this which option we need to mark here as correct answer see carbon dioxide only no hydrogen only no definitely it would be a mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen so just choose this option as your correct answer after this the turn is there for the next question that is the question number 25 let's move towards that 